Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Microsoft Defender Application Guard for Microsoft Edge web browser using Intune. Application Guard is a security feature in Windows 10 and Windows 11 OS that usage a hardware isolation approach to protect enterprise assets from attacks from untrusted sites and files. It uses an isolated Hyper-V container which is separate from the host operating system to open enterprise-defined untrusted sites and files. That isolation makes sure that anything that happens within the isolated Hyper-V container is isolated from the host operating system. That provides an additional security layer. Application Guard can be used for Microsoft Edge web browser and Microsoft 365 apps. But in this video, we will configure Microsoft Defender Application Guard only for Microsoft Edge web browser. For Microsoft Edge, Application Guard helps to isolate enterprise-defined untrusted sites, protecting our company while our employees browse the internet. As an enterprise administrator, we can define what is among trusted websites, cloud resources, and internal networks. Everything not on our list is considered untrusted. If an employee goes to an untrusted site through Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Edge opens the site in an isolated Hyper-V enabled container. For this, a 64-bit computer with minimum 4 core is required for hypervisor and virtualization-based security with at least 8 GB RAM. We also need second-level address translation capable CPU. First of all, we need to sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. First, we will create Endpoint Attack Surface Reduction Policy to install Microsoft Defender Application Guard feature on Windows devices. On home page, click on Endpoint Security. Under Manage, click on Attack Surface Reduction. Click on Create Policy Plus icon. From the Platform drop-down list, select Windows 10 and Later. From the Profile drop-down list, select the App and Browser Isolation. Apps and Browser Isolation profile includes the configuration options to enable Application Guard for Microsoft Edge and for isolated Windows environments. The combination of those configuration options enables Application Guard for Microsoft Edge and any enabled application within Windows. We can read brief overview information about Application Guard. Click on Create. Enter a name and description for this policy. We have given name Taste Configure Application Guard Policy. We have also added description, this attack surface reduction policy will install and enable the Windows Defender Application Guard feature on targeted Windows devices. Now I'm going to click on Next. We are on Configuration Settings page. First option is to turn on Application Guard feature. Click on drop down. Select Enabled for Edge and Isolated Windows Environments to turn on Application Guard for Microsoft Edge Web Browser and Microsoft 365 apps. But first, we want to only test with Microsoft Edge, so we will select Enable for Edge option. Choose the clipboard behavior between the local device and the virtual Microsoft Edge Web Browser. We will select Block copy and paste between PC and browser setting. 
After selecting the setting, user will not be able to copy from Microsoft Edge web browser to PC. Next, specify if access to camera and microphone is allowed in the virtual Microsoft Edge browser. For this setting, we will select no to deny access to camera and microphone in the virtual Microsoft Edge web browser. Next, specify if content from unapproved websites from loading is blocked in the virtual Microsoft Edge web browser. We will keep not configured selected as we want user to access external content from non-enterprise approved websites. But we want to collect logs, so select yes to collect logs for events that occur within the virtual Microsoft Edge web browser. Select yes to save user data that is created in the virtual Microsoft Edge web browser. We can specify if the use of a virtual graphics processing unit is allowed in the Microsoft Edge web browser. We will keep the value to not configured. Next, specify if the download of files from the virtual Microsoft Edge browser to the local device is allowed. We will keep the value to not configured for this setting as well. Using this option, we can specify any required certificate thumbprints to automatically transfer the matching root certificate to the virtual environment. In this example, we are not going to configure it. We can specify the settings to allow or deny print to local printer or network printers. In this example, we are not going to configure it. We only want to allow print to PDF in virtual environment. So users can save the content as a PDF file. Let me change the setting to yes. Application guard allow print to PDF. Then we have an option to allow print to XPS, which we are not going to configure. The last option is about network isolation policy. We can use Windows Network Isolation Policy to define any trusted locations. It allows us to add network domains, IP address ranges, proxy servers, and more to our network boundary. Entries in this boundary are trusted. Any location that is not defined here will automatically considered as a untrusted. Click on Configure. As you can see, we have options for IP ranges, cloud resources, network domains, proxy servers, and internal proxy servers. We will add one website to the cloud resources to mark them as a trusted website. Let me click here and then click on add plus icon. Type the URL of the website. Okay, I have specified the FQDN www.microsoft.com. Apart from this website, all other websites are considered as an untrusted. If you want, you can specify other information as well. But at this moment, we just want to add one website to the list to consider as a trusted website. Click Next. On Scope Tags page, we can select different scope tags. But in this example, we will go with the default scope tag. And that is selected. Click Next. In Assignments, select the Users or User Group that will receive our profile. Click on Add Groups. From the list, we will select our test device group named Lab Client03. Click on Select and click on Next. Preview your settings and click on Create. Wait for the confirmation message. We can see the message profile created successfully. So we have deployed the application guard policy to our device group named lab client 03. But this will take some time to apply the settings on our devices. To see the result, let's go to a Windows 10 device. This Windows 10 device is member of our targeted device group lab client 03. We have configured 8 GB of RAM and 4 CPU cores for this virtual machine. 
First of all, let's check whether application guard is currently installed or not on this virtual machine. Go to run, type appviz.cpl and press enter key. Click on turn windows feature on or off. We can confirm that the application guard feature is not installed on this virtual machine. If you want to manually install Microsoft Defender Application Guard feature on this machine, you just need to select the checkbox and click on OK to start installing this feature on our client computer. But since we have configured the settings from Intune, there is no need to manually install this feature on this computer. So let me click on Cancel and let's close this window as well. We will initiate the manual sync with Intune. Click on sync and wait for the sync process to complete. After the profile has been deployed to devices and the devices has done a sync with Intune, they need to be restarted. After the restart, the Windows Defender Application Guard feature is enabled on the devices. So let's restart this Windows 10 device. You can see the message getting windows ready as currently it is installing the windows defender application guard feature on our device. We can see the message working on features 90% complete. After restart, let's again sign into this windows 10 device. Let's again check the status of application guard feature. Go to run, type appvis.cpl and press enter key. Click on turn windows features on or off. And this time, as we can see, Microsoft Defender Application Guard feature is now installed on our device. Let me cancel it. So Intune has successfully installed Microsoft Defender Application Guard feature on our Windows 10 device. Now we can test the result by visiting different websites in Microsoft Edge. Let's open Microsoft Edge web browser. We have configured www.microsoft.com as a trusted cloud resource in the Windows Network Isolation Policy. That configuration makes sure that every other website will automatically be untrusted and open in an isolated Hyper-V container. Let's type URL www.microsoft.com and press enter key. Since www.microsoft.com is a trusted cloud resource, user can access the website without any difference. If user try to access any untrusted website in Microsoft Edge, it will automatically got redirected to application guard for Microsoft Edge. To see that, let me type the URL msftwebcast.com and press enter key. Edge should open this website in new tab with application guard on. The browser will close and new window will open again with msftwebcast.com website. First time, Windows Defender Application Guard will take some time to prepare. Then the user is ready to browse the internet in the most secure way ever. We can see the message to protect your device against malware, Microsoft Edge is opening in Application Guard. This may take a moment. As you can see, the website amasaptivebcast.com is opened successfully. Click on Application Guard. Here we can see the information. You are browsing in Application Guard for Microsoft Edge. And we have different symbol here as well. As you can see, we have different icon for Microsoft Edge. Try to copy some text from the website. So let me select some of the text. Right click on it and select copy. Let me minimize this. When we try to paste the copied text, we will receive an error as we have blocked copy and paste between PC and browser option for clipboard behavior setting. 
let's see that. Let's open Notepad. Okay. And try to paste the copied text into Notepad. Let's right click here and select the paste. And as expected, we are getting an error message. Your admin doesn't allow you to copy and paste between application guard and other apps. This means application guard won't allow user to copy paste. Uh, let's open task manager as well. Click on more details. If you take a look in task manager, it would show a running task for Microsoft Defender Application Guard Manager RDP Client. And that we can see here. We have accessed the website MSFT Webcast. And here we can see it is in Microsoft Edge with Application Guard. This confirm the isolated Hyper-V container with Application Guard. That's all for this video on how to configure Microsoft Defender Application Guard for Microsoft Edge web browser using Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.